What's up, Bug Dougaldini in the garage? Some of you will remember from last year the free trailer we got. We call it the Dirty Bird Ferd. We uh, picked it up free on the side of the road. Someone had it up there on Craigslist, so uh, I grabbed it. It's been a really great trailer. It is rough, but it's solid where it needs to be, except down here. All right, these uh, trailer tires that came with it, they've been leaked and cracking uh, since we brought it home. And uh, I tried filling them with um, great, uh, not great stuff, what's the fix a flat and some other stuff. And they're finally just spent. Now, here's the thing. I don't really want to spend any money on this trailer because uh, at some point the rust is going to get bad enough that I'm just going to drag it to the dump and leave it there. But in the meantime, it's really great for bringing stuff home from the junkyard. Uh, I do a lot of, as you can see, moving of my... Um, leaves and stuff for the house so what I want to do is use these old uh, Wrangler tires here my buddy gave me uh, rims are a little bit rusty but for the most part they are uh, some plenty good tires see Jeep they are the correct bolt pattern five by four and a half the only problem is uh, the offset the back spacing is way way off they won't fit so a real good trick for uh, getting to use normal rims on your trailer Go and get some uh, hub-centric wheel spacers. You know, I've been trying to find these in the junkyard for the longest. Um, you know, because they're going to be a lot more affordable that way. But this tire went flat and it was just time. So these are uh, two inch, five by four and a half spacers. We're going to put these on here and see if we can't use these Wrangler rims going forward. Uh, I know a lot of guys that do this on their trailer because uh, then you can use whatever. Like when these tires are spent, I'll probably just cash these in, go to the junkyard. I won't even bother getting new tires or I'll just get a whole new rims tire set from the junkyard, you know? Makes it easy. Uh, if this thing was a long hauler, heavy load, might be a different story, but uh, for, for hauling scrap to the yard or hauling differentials back, whatever, you get the idea. Let's, uh, let's get this wheel pulled off and see what we can do. All right, we got that wheel off. Let's see if these bad boys fit. Sure hope they do. And, ta-da, that looks pretty good. Perfect, so then we'll use these small ones to get down in there. I think I'm gonna have to find a much smaller socket. All right, these guys are about 17. Let's see, is my 17 gonna fit? No. All right, new plan. I'm gonna have to go find a much, much smaller 17. Contact. Get the rest of these bad boys on there. Tightening these up are going to be a little difficult. Well, there you go, friends. I chose to use some uh, WJ lugs because they have a little bit more uh, material to them than the old whatever Ford lugs that were on there. But I tried to fit these on a couple weeks ago. Couldn't do it. They were rubbing right in here. There's about an inch and a half of clearance there now. Um, the two inches work perfect, and the beauty of this is now I can use whatever rims I want on this thing. We'll do the other side, and then we'll be in business. Looks a little better, too. I'm gonna lie. I sold my uh, the stock rims from my 2000 Cherokee. I kind of wanted to put them on here, even though it would have looked pretty anachronistic. 
to have a 1950s Ford bed with 2000 <laughs> Cherokee wheels. Anyway, man, that's all there is to it. Real simple trick, but it makes all the difference because it's a pain having to mess with only these rims, you know? Especially these are all, I don't even know if the tire's leaking or this, this is probably leaking. I would have had to replace these, so I did not want to have to do that. I love the Dirty Bird Ferd, as it were, the Dirty Bird Ferd, but uh, I'm not trying to put a lot of money into her. So if you got any questions, by all means, leave me a comment down there in the squawk boxes. I always appreciate what y'all have to say. Uh, I know somebody's going to say it's not safe using these spacers, but trust me, man. This is, this is all this carrying. Occasionally it goes limps down the road to the junkyard. We ain't doing no long hauls. No long way to go, short time to get there. Anyway, comment down in the squawk boxes. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.